Hello and welcome to yet another Business Central Explained video. Today uh, we will have a look at how you can add users to your Business Central uh, environment. Uh, and for those of you who are familiar with the old version of uh, Business Central Dynamics Nav, uh, and you were running Business Central on-premise, uh, then you could probably just um, add users in the user table. Uh, that is not possible anymore uh, if you are running Business Central online, and that is simply because uh, the users that you see in Business Central are tied to your Azure AD. So if I want to create a new user in my Business Central environment, I actually have to go to my Azure AD and start there. And I'm already inside Business Central, so uh, I can go here in the tile in the upper left corner of my screen, and I can go to my Azure AD admin. And it will take me a little while to get logged on to the Azure AD or Microsoft 365 Admin Center. And I can go to Active Users here. And I can then get a list of all the users that are in my environment. Uh, so if I want another of my colleagues or another user to get access to Business Central, I have to go to Add a User here in Azure AD. And that will uh, lead me through a, uh, a um, wizard for creating the new user. So let's see if I want to create a new user called Peter Bang. Uh, and I can give him the username Petter. Uh, and I have uh, the option to select a domain for my user here. I will use the bc365.no domain. Uh, and I have the option to automatically create a password for this user, or I can give a password. Uh, something I want to... Yeah, something either I collected from the user or something I come up with myself. This time I will see, say, I automatically create a password. And I can um, require the user to change the password when they first sign in. And also I have option to send the password uh, in an email upon uh, completion of this wizard. So I will uh, just say that I want to send the, the password to myself. And uh, I can say next. Uh, I have to select the location of the user. And now I also have to assign the user a license because for the user to be able to uh, access Business Central, we need to assign it Business Central license. And we have to do that from within uh, Azure AD. So I click here for assigning the uh, business central use, uh, sorry, the business central license to the user. And I also want in this case to assign it both a Power Automate free license because that comes together with a business central license. And I also want this user to be able to use mail and office. So I'll assign it an office license as well. Uh, and I just click next. Uh, and I can here say if I want to assign it any roles. Um, and I can have, have access to what kind of roles in my Azure AD tenant I want this user to have. Um, this, um, this user will not have any specific roles, so I'm not going to, to uh, add anything here. I can also add some profile information if I want to do that. Uh, I'm not going to do that either, so just click next to get to the next step of the, um, of the uh, wizard. And um, this is basically what I need. So I can say finish editing. And then you will see my, uh, my uh, Business Central, uh, or oh, sorry, my Azure AD user is being created uh, with his username that will be Petter at bsa365.no. Uh, he got a password. Uh, and this password will also be sent to 
my email address so I could if I had the user's email address I could of course send it to him or her as well so uh, what I need to do now is to close this wizard uh, and I you can see that I received the email with a password uh, and uh, my user is now in Azure AD I can go back to Business Central and I can see that the user is not present in as, uh, sorry, in Business Central, I can go to Process and I can select the function of Update Users from Microsoft 365. So when I click on this one, it will start a process of syncing the the uh, Business Central users with the AD users. And this will add new users to the system, but it will also remove remove access. Uh, for users that are, I have where I have revoked the business central user. So I just click next and it will take a little while for the system to connect to Azure AD and do the sync that is necessary. It's updated and I can click on view changes and here you can see that Peter Bang is a new user and I can say finish. Um, and it will start working again and um, it's adding actually Peter Bang into my Business Central now and you can all see that he is now showing up in my users list and I can go in and give him specific access to specific companies in my Business Central uh, tenant and uh, also assign user group membership and permission sets to this specific user. So this is the uh, correct and um, basically only way you can add new users to your Business Central online um, environment. I hope this uh, video was useful for you. Um, if you like it, please like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want me to produce more Business Central explained videos for you. Thank you for watching.